If you look at even the most polished pieces of metal under a microscope, you see very rough surfaces. And when surfaces start to come together and wear, you actually have what looks like two mountain peaks coming together and hitting each other. And before that all happens, additives are on those mountains. They're the snow caps. And so the snow rubs against the snow instead of the metal against the metal. It's continually forming, getting worn away, and then reforming a very thin, yet very effective coating that protects the engine against wear. You put this all in perspective, that chemical layer, it's on the nanometer scale or the atomic scale, and that's nanometers, one billionth of a meter. This is a scale that's difficult to see. Well, it's impossible to see, really. Anything on the nanometer scale is smaller than the wavelength of light. And because it's smaller than the wavelength of light, it's not possible to see those kinds of objects with your eye. So one simple analogy might be that if you are an average sized person, about two meters or six feet tall, and we shrank you down to the height of this additive layer, standing next to a paper clip, the paper clip would appear to you to be as tall as Mount Everest. And that gives you some idea about how small these additive layers are within an engine. So we felt it wasn't good enough just to say, hey, there's this magical film that's in your engine. Just trust us, it, you know, it protects everything. You don't need to worry about it, you're covered. We knew that that wasn't good enough for the consumer and we were not satisfied with that answer ourselves. Uh, so we really wanted to be able to show it in a very visual manner. The concept of using the atomic knife is technology that's been developed in the last five or 10 years. And this is the instrument which is used to cut and then extract this layer. You take uh, an ion gun that shoots very high uh, energy ions at the surface and it digs out a little truly microscopic nanometer in scale trench. So using the atomic knife, you can then cut out this sample. You also need a very fine precision needle that you can control with the computer. You weld the needle to the sample and then you can carefully lift this small wall or this nanometer cross section out of the surface of the sample. And it's this thin wall that's cut out and extracted from the surface that then we can do subsequent chemical analysis to determine what the layer is, how thick it is, and whether the Lubrizol chemistry we put in to look at that is actually in the layer. So you can very quickly, in, a, in about a day's worth of experiments, zoom in on a world that you've never seen before. For the first time in the history of the company, we're able to physically extract and then directly visualize how the molecules that we've been putting in oils for 80 years react with the surface of engine parts and protect the engine. For somebody who's invested 20 or 30 years of their life into trying to understand how these layers form on metal parts in an engine, a lot of this information is a revelation. It's a, a mixture of joy and a mixture of wonder at seeing something that uh, not only you've never seen before, but perhaps that no one else on Earth has ever, ever seen before. If nothing else, it sort of puts you in a position of knowing that things that you thought might not be possible at all 20 years ago are now possible today and can be directly visualized in a way that you never would have imagined.